Hello everyone, it's Tom Glubovic here again and welcome to the next video in our series on doing a planned project uh, within the AEC collections. So last week, the last video, um, I had a quick look at how to um, export from a plant project into advanced steel and you can see that uh, those results are there. Now I have obviously cleaned it up since then. Um, and just made it uh, one a little bit more neater and nicer and two just got rid of um, some of the elements that I'm going to basically be remodeling um, inside advanced steel so I did get rid of the handrails around the top level uh, some around this lower level I also got rid of the plate um, so inside advanced steel um, it is um, drawn as as platework or grating uh, but coming in into advanced steel it has come in as platework so obviously uh, wasn't really too um, interested in in keeping any of that because basically we're going to be remodeling it in, in inside advanced steel anyway um, and then same thing with the uh, stairs uh, and other steel work around uh, these these two floors here um, we're basically going to be um, uh, remodeling them in advanced steel because obviously advanced steel uh, has nicer capabilities in regards to to doing, doing stairs so there is also you can see there's a, a leftover remnant there so this is one of the old kick plates from the old uh, handrails that we had inside plant so just to finish off this model just tidy that up a bit and it looks like we've got everything uh, that we need here so uh, basically once you've got it inside advanced steel, I've saved this to my desktop and I've suffixed it with uh, underscore AS at the end of that. So uh, I'm happy with that as, as to where it sits now. So I'm just going to save and close that file. So we're just going to jump into Plant 3D now. Now over here, I already have a folder called advanced steel and you can see we already have some plant models under the plant directory. So under the advanced steel folder, I'm going to right click, copy drawing to project, go to my desktop select that model and then now that gets copied into the directory structure of the plant 3d project and if i open it inside plant 3d then you know i can interrogate the item so if i do a, a properties uh, look on them so you can see we do have it's a 14 ub 59.7 and we do have some of the the uh, advanced steel options in there as well so i'm just going to close that now jump into my desktop quickly and I'm going to delete the old file because we obviously don't need to to look at it anymore so now when we go into advanced steel I look for the directory that I'm working in and then under my plan 3d models structural advanced steel uh, and then there it is so now I'm in advanced steel looking at the advanced steel structure inside the plant 3d directory so just to do a um, quick little demonstration of of us working on that so I'm going to do uh, let's look at some of these connections here so I want to do a shear plate there it is there and I'm going to favorite it so I'm going to do this column against that beam and I've got a four by one, so I actually want it to be two horizontal. And I want to do it in the middle and have four vertical and two horizontal. So we have that connection in there. So I'll do the same thing, column to beam, plates, horizontal, two, vertical in the middle. And then there it is. So just to show that there's no trickery going on here, I'm going to close this file and you can see it's under the Plant 3D directory. So now if we jump back to Plant 3D and I open it inside Plant, then obviously again you can see uh, that that connection is in there. And even just to show you inside the piping model. So I have my piping model with my equipment and I want to reference this in 
So then you can see everything plays nicely together there. If we look at it in realistic mode, then you can see we have our pipework XREFT with the advanced steel structure in there. So basically, if you're working with the structural discipline on this, this plant project, you'd be telling your structural users to be uh, editing from the plant directory structure. Now, the reason we do that is because when we go down the track, uh, with this project and we want to cut some 2D drawings from it, we need the advanced steel structure to be uh, inside the plant 3D directory structure, otherwise the orthos aren't going to work. So it's a nice and short and sweet video for, for today. Uh, next week we're going to look at adding some more structure to this. So we, we might do things like the stairs or some more hand railing, maybe do some, some ladders in there. Uh, if you like the video, then do the thumbs up. If you don't like it, there's a thumbs down uh, and press the little bell icon at the top right of YouTube screen to receive notifications from, from us and from the team. Uh, and I'll see you next week to create some more structure. See ya.